Hi, I'm Dr. Gaffer. This is you, uh, Ming, and you're in the back row. Welcome you, to Ming, another retarded. <laughs> exciting and riveting episode that is in the back row live now with audio for your for <laughs> listening, your listening pleasure. pleasure. Wow. <laughs> I knew what you were going for. I always for. seem to manage to forget something. Somehow throughout the week I forget that I unplug and move around things. So, yeah. That's okay. Sometimes I forget I'm here. I'm just wondering. Can we just, like, leave? Yeah, we can just, like, leave. It could be like a puppet show. Oh, wait. My face! Oh, my God! <laughs> can you quack? <laughs> wow. That was interesting. That was a minute of fun. <laughs> a minute of fun? It was a half minute. It was 15 seconds of fun. My image looks very dark for some reason. Yes, it does. It's weird. Not over here. Oh, hmm. well, interesting. And now yeah. it just darkened hmm. over here. And, um, in fact, it's dark over there, too. Huh. Did your camera... I don't know. I guess we'll just go with it. It's kind of moody, actually. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit moody. It's kind of like my mood. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm tired, but I'm not. You're tired? You s why, why are you tired? I think I got up too early this morning. Oh. Uh, yeah, that'll yep. make you tired. And then I have to be at the laundromat tomorrow at 6. I just realized I have way too many stories to talk about. <laughs> well, you better get started. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get through all of them. I'm going to have to, like, you know, sit here and decide. Usually I try to put, like, you know, the, uh, <laughs> I try to put the good ones in the back, you know, to kind of, you know, uh, you know, be able to uh, tease people with, but then that's never a good idea because then sometimes I don't actually get to the last story, so that's kind of a bummer. So I, I, I just don't know what to talk about first. I guess I should probably talk about, um, well, this. Mm. Um, apparently, um, the gentleman who played uh, uh, Chewbacca, who, <laughs> his name is Peter um, um, Mayhew. Are you cleaning up the place? I just found a hair that was bothering me. Okay. Yeah. Good. Get, I need to get rid of those bothersome hairs. I find them all the time on my body. <laughs> um, <laughs> Razor. But anyway, I guess uh, this last week he decided he wanted to tweet a bunch of uh, never-before-released pictures over his Twitter account. Ooh. And so the internet was all blown up with excitement and stuff over that. So we'll go through Never-before-released pictures of what? Of, uh, of the Star Wars. Um, oh, okay. Movies like this, you know, he played Chewbacca. I don't really know that he's been in much else, so I guess it was just kind of, I was assuming that like people would just go, <laughs> oh yeah, it must be pictures from Star Wars. It's like, no, they're just pictures of his junk. Um, <laughs> his but no, junk? But no, he's just, uh, um, just posted a bunch of uh, behind the scenes um, photos, and there's a lot of, you know, trolls and stuff out there that are just going like, oh, well, I've seen that one before. And I'm sure there's been variations of like, you know, the same picture, because I don't know, you know if you guys like really remember, like back before like the, camera phone days when you actually had to take pictures on 35 millimeter film if you got you know princess leia and you know and uh harrison ford i know i just use like a character and real names but whatever but if you got them to like you know make some wacky pose and then like took a picture there'd be some other fucker there with a 35 millimeter camera going oh wait, wait, i want to get one too so yeah you've probably seen similar pictures but um and he might have you know released them you know previously or whatnot but um as a you know as a collection they're all they're all pretty cool and so uh we'll be kind of uh, reviewing those and showing Yay. those to you guys later in the program but um hi jc and jessica hi to folks well, the first thing that I, I really want to talk about, just because it's just so goddamn weird, um, uh, Jennifer Lopez, I, I didn't bother like, Jennifer Lopez. Um, showing an image uh, of her, although that might have been a good idea, because she's fun to look at, but um, mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez mm -hmm. um, has apparently gotten, um, gotten ensnarled in quite possibly the oddest um, catfishing scheme I've I've heard of catfishing in, in at least a while. Yeah, catfishing is where you uh, you trick somebody on the internet into thinking that you're somebody that you're not, and kind of build a relationship either to get you know, them, either to get money from them or just because you like fucking with people. They call it catfishing. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not a hundred percent sure why they call it that. I could possibly speculate, but I'm not going to. Ah. So. <laughs> so anyway. Um, 
Jennifer Lopez, uh, apparently there's a, um, a gentleman uh, by the name of, uh, strangely enough, you're, you'll, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of this. No one else will understand why, but apparently Rodrigo here oh, no. <laughs> believes that Jennifer Lopez was sending him um, messages, but not like messages on like Twitter or like Facebook or any of the usual catfishing schemes that you hear about, like through like dating websites or shit like that. This guy like received a letter in the fucking mail. Uh, from like, Jennifer Lopez. Through the postal service, supposedly. Supposedly from Jennifer Lopez. From Jennifer Lopez. Um, okay. Now, now, I guess the uh, none of the letters were really particularly, um, you know, um, long. But I guess this guy feel, uh, felt, you know, jilted enough to where he's uh, filing a $10,000 lawsuit against Jennifer Lopez for leading him on. $10,000? Yeah. Okay. And uh, basically, um, he claims that she was um, trying to uh, get him to uh, mail her, not email, mail her nu naked pictures of himself. Oh, she, no. she requested both pictures <laughs> of, uh, of clothes both on and off and, um, and, a, um, and a demo CD. <laughs> can, we just, can we just appreciate getting naked pictures of this man? Of Rodrigo? So, yep. so, he's, so he's filed this lawsuit, um, and apparently these letters um, were like from like 2008. Oh so, my gosh. Um, um, he claims the letters led him to believe that he had a chance at a musical career and possibly a romantic relationship with Lopez. Oh boy. Um, he was so depressed that he, he sought uh, professional help, and um, <laughs> here's a little sample of uh, some of the letters. Um, and they're really, like I said, they're like really short messages. I don't even know why you'd bother, like, writing them in a letter. Why wouldn't she just fucking call you on the phone and say this? But mm. um, through letters received, um, the first reads, um, I just wanted you to know that I do remember you and that I'm interested in you. Um, I have plans on leaving my husband, but I can't say much right now. So that's it for now. Send me a picture of you both with clothes and without clothes. That's the first letter. Um, the second one is, this is Jennifer Lopez writing to you. <laughs> the red flag right there. Like, Would she really say that? This is who, Jennifer Lopez. Who I mean, granted, I start out my show by like, hi, I'm Dr. Gaffer. But, but you can actually I don't write face. letters to people like that. Hi, I'm Dr. Gaffer. <laughs> I'm Dr. Gaffer writing And I was wondering you. if you'd send me a copy of your demo with your, uh, with your panties. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, uh, I'll try to get to So the second letter. This is Jennifer Lopez writing to you again. And just to let you know that I got your package, music and demos. Um, and just to let you know, you need to send me pictures of you without clothes. <laughs> just in case wow. you forgot. Because apparently, you know, he sent, you know, pictures of himself and the demo tape and all that stuff. Just didn't send the nudes. So she r had to write again. Um, the third one said, uh, this is Jennifer Lopez. And uh, as you can tell, it's been a while since I wrote. <laughs> and as you can see, I have a new boyfriend, which means um, you're in for you're in for the long haul. And what? you have to put up with the fact that I'm fucking him and sucking his dick. What? Now, if you really think Jennifer Lopez, like, wrote that out and uh, and mailed it wow. to you, I don't know if it was in handwriting or if it was uh, or if it was like a typed letter. <laughs> if it was a typed letter, then I'd be like even more suspicious. But apparently this, uh, this, this gentleman bought into it. Uh, Mr. Rodrigo here uh, filed a police report uh, claiming uh, harassment as well. By Jennifer Lopez? Yes. So he's suing Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, oh, he no. still believes that you she... You have to be to think that's he, actually her. He still believes that uh, she sent those letters, but oh the records God. show the P.O. box he replied to is owned by a 53-year-old woman in Los Angeles. <laughs> ah! So... But, uh... But Rodrigo Reyes still believes that the so letters were sent by Lopez. Is this is this guy anybody, or is just some random? Uh, it's dude? just some random, you know. I mean, L. A. is full of you know random recording artists, and he's just like another a one of them. Shot. <laughs> I know. It does kind of. Um, I guess um, they uh, they contacted the uh, the woman who owns the post office box, and then she made up some half-assed story about um, being part of Jennifer Lopez's um, fan mail exchange. Which I don't understand even what the fuck that means, <laughs> fan mail exchange. Um, but uh, obviously, Mrs. Lopez uh, 
doesn't uh, claim to have ever met the plaintiff or know him in any fucking way, shape, or form. And um, they're hoping that the judge will just dismiss it based on the fact that Rodrigo is clearly fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think crazy is the right word. I think he's delusional? just kind of well, just kind of. Can we go with delusional? That that'll work. All Either right. that or just plain dumb. Rodrigo, you're delusional and dumb. And dumb. Hey, Emily, <laughs> how good is it? Poor, poor Rodrigo. That poor guy. I actually kind of feel for him a little bit. Do you? No. Hmm. I tried. We just got like all sorts of weird douchebags. You, you have a douchebag story, don't you? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of douchebag stories, actually. Roll out a douchebag story. Uh. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, tether back and forth. Okay. Uh, Show it. Uh, tethering's not the right word. But I, I think I understand what you mean. Please. It goes good. Right on. That's what I like to hear. Do you want me to move on with the douchebag story? Do you want to continue? No, you. Yay, douchebags! I've got a couple of them. Uh, numeral uno, Charlie Sheen. Oh my god, you got Charlie Sheen. I have Charlie Sheen, yes. Well, I don't have him. Oh. Uh, I really don't kind of really want him. He's 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 damaged goods. He's looking pretty sharp for, you know, a 60-year-old guy. I think he's like 60 yeah, now. Yeah, but his, he's got he's got something going on there. Yeah, it's called clever marketing. <laughs> uh, so he called Ashton Kutcher really lame for being on Two and a Half Men as his replacement. Oh. Um, which, you know, I haven't watched the show since Action Kutcher's been on there, so I don't really know if he is actually really lame on the show or if he's not, but whatever. Still, a lot of people still watch that show. I don't know who, but <laughs> a lot of people still watch that show. Uh, he tweeted a picture of Ashton and also of uh, John Cryer, and he said, uh, Hey, John, you are a genius. You as in you and R as in R, not Y-O-U. Mm -hmm. Or you know, right. that shorthand crap that he does. <laughs> I effin' love and miss you, old pal. Q, who's your lame sidekick? And he spelled sidekick with a K-I-K. -K. Uh, and then he tweeted again and said, hey, relax, everyone, because everybody you know, was like, you know, fuck you, Ashton is awesome, and whatever. Yeah. Um, read the hashtag, and I guess it said hashtag something, and it wasn't anything legible, so. Oh, and, I, and John, I'm sorry I insulted your sidekick. I meant really lame. And then he tweeted a pic of Woody Allen's uh, Take the Money and Run. And <laughs> <laughs> right? And what could that mean? <laughs> and he said, hey, Ashton, sorry, bro. All good. Now quit barfing on my old brilliant show. Remember Punked? How does it feel? And neither Ashton nor John uh, have actually responded to Charlie Sheen's tweets. So who's to say that they actually uh, were offended by it at all? Or if they were just, just saying, "Hey, it's Charlie Sheen. That's that's who he is and that's how, how he do." do. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. So oh, I, would, I, I went over and messed with the cable. Did that like make any difference when I was messing with it? It kind of did, did, actually. It? Yeah, it's it's uh, actually. Well, close I'm gonna go twist it again, again, and you can like you, you like holler at me if anything, oh. if anything exciting happens. Okay. Thanks for good, becoming a fan, Esme. And Jocelyn says, well, or Joseline says, says, "The brains, away. huh?" What did? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, are you? Uh, nothing's happening. No. Yeah, not a thing. Not a thing. Well, shit. I just don't know. I don't know either. Who cares? It's alright. We'll figure it out later. Oh wow! All of a sudden, it looks a little bit brighter. Well. Nope. Pretty much the same. Nah, eh, whatever. Or you know what? You know what I think it is? I think my eyes are wigging out, and I'm just going fucking blind. That must be it. <laughs> I already am blind. Hence these. Thanks for the hug, Emily. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Where is Carter? I don't know. I don't know if he was scheduled for this hour or for the hour after this. I guess it depends. It, I think it was the east uh, coast. I think. Uh, I think they're talking about the. Um, it was three hours uh, before. Before oh. this, because there was some really awesome looking dude on. Was is he like an awesome looking dude? He probably is an awesome. Yeah. Dude. Carter is an awesome name. So. Uh, so he's got to be an awesome. I, I don't. I don't remember but there was a dude on like three hours ago that he seemed to be quite mm -hmm. uh, quite popular he got a lot of likes so so that was probably that's Carter. probably him well bummer i'm sorry that you missed him brooklyn <laughs> i know you're stuck with us we're, yeah. we're not nearly as cute as that fucker was. no true story that's, that kind of <laughs> sucks actually yeah emily said he was on three hours before good call <laughs> i I'll wasn't to, here <laughs> try, i try to keep my eye on the community if i can Aw, you're okay. so nice. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna uh, do the. Uh, I am going do, to do the sh do the shadow store. I thought you were gonna do that one. I that one I, first. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it next. Okay. Do you want me to do it now? Yeah. Right on. Let's move on with another douchebag. I got a 
I got a picture and everything, so. Oh, oh, excellent. Why waste it? Yep, very true. Very true. So uh, Shia LaBeouf, or Shia LaDouche, as people are starting oh, to call him. Jesus Christ, are they really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he uh, I guess tweeted. it's not much of a stretch. No, it's kind of not. Mm -hmm. it, it's really not. He tweeted on January 10th, uh, in light of the recent attacks against my artistic integrity, I am retiring from all public life. Ho <laughs> ho, cry me a river. Uh, and he also said, Until there's a GoBots movie, then maybe. GoBots, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, and then, uh, no, Transformers, he was, he was good. He was great in Holes. I loved the movie Holes. That was, was a that fantastic. A porn? Oh, it was based off of a children's book. It oh. actually is a really good movie. Hmm. And I, I really liked it. I really liked it a lot. I'll have to check out um, Shia LaBeouf's Holes then. Yeah. <laughs> when I get a chance. That's awful. Uh, Zoe, thanks for becoming a fan. Woohoo! Uh, so yeah, <laughs> anyway, and he also tweeted, my love goes out to all of those who have supported me. <laughs> all ten of you. See, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Apparently, to um, my eight followers. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, uh, <laughs> Jamie B says, dead antique, flat screen. I think that's a 2000, oh, year 2000 saying. gateway monitor. I used to work at Gateway Computers when, when they actually had a store in Spokane, Washington. <laughs> when they actually had a store? Yeah. When, when they, they had, were in business? Yeah. <laughs> they had a store in Spokane, Washington, and it was actually really cool. Um, it was a white building, and it actually had the, the black cow spots on it and oh stuff. God. So, yeah, so it was you couldn't, great. So you couldn't miss it? No. But um, I got in trouble a lot because I kept giving away the little cow stuffed animals, uh -huh. little beanie babies and stuff, and I was like, here, you can see the same location. is probably like a super supplement now. Actually, I think it's been vacant. Well, it was vacant for like six or seven years. It was vacant, and then it was vacant. <laughs> <laughs> and then it turned into a hot tub spa Ooh. A place. Uh, or sales, I was going to say, that must be a, place. Oh, okay. a sales place. I'm just like, that would be a big hot tub. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's, that's all. Okay, that's we used to make computers here, but now it's just a big bathtub. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Gateway sold refurbished parts as new. Yes, they did, and that's mm. part of the reasons why they oh. are no longer in business. I could go <laughs> on with a couple more things because I was, you know, in the know, in the, in the, in the back row. <laughs> of the business. <laughs> anyway, so back to uh, Shia LaDouche. Uh -huh. um, all of that crap about him retiring was after he tweeted a new storyboard of his uh, next supposed short film um, that he called Daniel Boring, which actually is a title of a comic series and a graphic novel by, novel by Mr. Close. And Mr. Close is the guy that he keeps on harassing, um, basically stealing his stuff uh, saying that it's his, and then he's the one that did the, the sky-written apology to this Mr. Close guy. Um, and then, uh, apparently, <laughs> after this tweet came uh, from Shia LaBeouf about his, his new story, graphic novel, whatever, um, he, said, uh, he said he actually started tweeting, actually, a, a cease and desist letter that was from Mr. Close and his attorney. Hmm. So uh, this cease and desist letter, at the, at the end of it, I have to read a little bit, it was kind of funny, um, they said, Brian, your client is seriously out of control. He must stop his improper and outlandish conduct directed at Mr. Close and his works, and your client must take all necessary and appropriate steps to readdress his wrongs. He, we have been waiting since December 27th to hear how Mr. LaBeouf intends to make right, but all that has happened is further wrongful acts and more foolishness, such as Mr. LaBeouf's New Year's Day skywriting frolic that exposed Mr. Close to further ridicule. How is that exposing him to ridicule? I don't get it. Anyway, uh, leave Mr. Close alone and address and fix these problems immediately. But he also, um, after all of that crap happened and he wrote all those tweets and whatnot, he sky wrote hashtag stop creating and tweeted that. As, as, as shown here, this is like, there's actually several images of this uh, sky writing um, <laughs> on the I'm internet. Sure there but is. But I'm just like, there has got to be a cheaper fucking way to, you know, to get your uh, your hashtag to uh, start to, um, trending on Twitter. Yeah. He, other than, you know, yeah. sky writing. Do you know how much that cost? Probably quite a lot. Take a wild guess. Uh, $10,000. No. $100,000. Less than that. But 50. more than ten. Fifty thousand. No, twenty-five. <sighs> twenty-five thousand dollars for this. <laughs> I could. That makes sense because that looks like it could take some uh, some creativity there. 
But I don't know. I'm sure you know that if he you know networked a little bit, he could probably you know find you know one of his Facebook friends that could probably get a hashtag to a trend on Twitter for less than twenty five thousand dollars. Maybe, but this is Shia LaBeouf we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess I guess apparently he only wants people in Los Angeles to know about. <laughs> apparently, um, he apparently also has a web page that he released that's called. Meta Modernist Manifesto. Jesus fucking and it's www.metamodernism.org. You can read it if you want. It's kind of drivel and nonsense and stuff that didn't make sense. Okay, to now me. I'm thinking he's going to um, have a compound and followers, and there's going to be a weird religion. This sounds the La Boofers. Oh my god. <laughs> the Skyriders. Luke Skyrider. Uh, what else was I going to say? There was something funny too. Oh, um, his his uh, Twitter account, which was which is uh, that the campaign book. If you go to the campaignbook.com, it used to have all of his stuff that he was working on, and now it just says hashtag stop creating and a link to his Twitter account. Hmm. Yeah. And what's kind of funny is after he said, um, I'm done with all this public crap, he tweeted a couple more things. I'm done with all this public crap, except for this. Yeah. And this. And oh, yeah. by the way, I'm going to skywrite again, but. But really, I'm done. Just forget about me. It's like, yeah, if you really want to just get out of the public eye and you don't want to be noticed anymore, you don't exactly pay somebody $25,000 for skywriting. You know, I kind of wonder if he, I mean, I, I wonder if that's what he's trying to do, is get himself, um, what, do they, what do they call it, vilified? Vilified? Quite possibly, yeah. So that he'll go down in history as this big douchebag or, or something. I mean, maybe he's just trying to be more famous than him. I mean, I don't, I don't understand his psyche. He has very weird tendencies towards, you know... Psychiatric strangeness. Hmm. I do too, but it's a different type of psychiatric strangeness. Yeah, so I guess uh, sir, he, uh, he hooked this up. Uh, hooked up a skywriting deal on Friday. Oh, Friday morning. What? A new one? No, I'm just saying that this this last. Oh, one that was Friday like morning. Friday. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Isn't this Mr. Carter? No, Diana, it is not Mr. Carter. He was on three hours ago. You missed him. I'm sorry. I hear he was fantastic, though. I wasn't here to see it. It was Eastern time. I didn't actually see how he did, like, what his numbers were, but he seemed to have, you know, there was a few hundred folks in there, so yeah. he seemed to be pretty content. Yeah, popular guy. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. I still love you, though. That's really sad, like, when people are expecting, like, you know, somebody that they don't know who the hell you are. Yeah, like, I know. And it's like, what the, the you wanna, fuck are you? The last thing you want to do, <laughs> like, as an entertainer, you know, is, like, be, you know, disappointing to people. Yeah. And then, like, now we're just disappointing by default. We didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, actually, I think that's all I had for douchebags. Charlie Sheen and Charlie Douche. That was it? Mm -hmm. all that, that was all the douchery? Mm -hmm. Well, that's all I could find, anyway. Mm -hmm. At least for the moment. You just wait. You just wait. I worked a lot this week. Long hours at the laundromat. I had to go and play for a show. So I was busy. Play for a show? Yeah. What show are you playing for? I'm playing for Little Women at Lake City Playhouse. In Coeur d'Alene. Is it actually Lake City, Idaho? Or is it Coeur d'Alene, Idaho? It's Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Oh. And why do they call it Lake City? It's just just the area? Well, there's a big lake. So oh. I guess, I oh, guess that right. was a thing. So. Hello, Cece. Good to see ya. So, um, I, just, I don't really have a whole lot that I want to uh, um, yeah, you do. talk about, you know, with this. It's just really, you know, kind of cool because I like to geek out on shit like this. Oh. But in case, you know, you're, you know, you live in a cave and you haven't heard. Um, geek out with a freak out. <laughs> the uh, gentleman who played uh, uh, Chewbacca. Chewie! Um, Chewbacca uh. the Wookiee. Um, his name is uh, Peter uh, Mayhew. He uh, posted uh, just uh, about three or four days ago. A bunch of photos that he had taken on the set of the various uh, Star Wars episodes, um, basically all three. They kind of span uh, all three uh, films, and you can look at them on uh, on oh his my Twitter gosh, account. Oh so cool! <gasps> what is so that big old thing with the horns? What is that? That is a um, oh my god! No. I'm oh no! But anyway, I'm just gonna uh, scroll up there. But anyway, this is his uh, Twitter account. So if you want to go and uh, and check these out for yourselves later <laughs> on, I, hi I highly encourage dogs. it because. Uh, yeah, Obviously, there are some interesting things. You see a picture of this cat trending. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is um, a fluffy cat. But yeah, basically, just uh, I was going like, to scroll through these. Um, just uh, photos that um, he'd taken and collected over his um, 
Dang, that is so cool. Years. <laughs> what is that? That's oh. Carrie, Carrie Fisher apparently taking a nap on an early generation snowmobile. Aww. But uh, yeah, a lot of these are kind of kind of fun. Is this the one I'm? The there's Dinky. one. No, it's not that one. But there's another picture that's uh, that's somewhat similar, or it's on the same <laughs> set. I like that one. Look at the, the Chewy holding her boob. Oh. Ah, look at the look on his face. Like, yeah. Ah. But there are, um, if you uh, if you search your way around the uh, internet, you'll find that there are uh, various uh, sites that have uh, been able to uh, uh, upload these and make them a little larger. That is so cool. Um, but like I said, some of the shots, you know, I haven't seen before, like, you know, behind the scenes shots Whoa. like this here. And, this Dude. one just this one's just in here randomly. I don't think that has anything to do with it, but like you can see, like you know, here's a, you know, Luke's a what? hand from when he gets blasted by Vader, so they can you know move his little digits around and stuff. Oh, right on. Um, that one that, this, this is uh, like some sort of weird hoaxy photo of an X-wing falling off of an <laughs> aircraft carrier in 1949. I like this one. I think I've, I've I've actually seen this photo before, but it's like he's wearing this frilly little robe. <laughs> Like, hooray! Um, but yeah, shots like this are just really cool. You see, like, you know, the models, and like, they've got, like, the, the uh, um, camouflage cloth up there to kind of give shadows to it so it looks like, you know, they're like, walking through trees. And it's just like, it's all really cool, fun stuff to geek out on. But um, I find it so fascinating that they use these tiny little models and just use the perspective shots to make it look like. Yeah, and there's, there's a ton of photos in there um, like that. There's the one we use for. Uh, Thumbnail there. Um, that's actually a. This is actually Princess Leia with Enter. her um, with her stunt double. Her stunt double kind of looks like you know she's like like a 35, 40 year old woman. <laughs> like, hmm. She looks pretty damn good for that age. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, go uh, go check them out or just search them uh, out on the internet and you can find some uh, some uh, some larger uh, image. I don't know how because you're not really supposed to be able to. Um, he has a set so you can't really like copy them from his. Uh, uh, Twitter account, but hmm. uh, apparently people have been able to do that. That's um, so neat. So thanks for becoming a fan, Madison. And hi, Okirk and Kutuk from Turkey. Turkey. Uh, yeah. Co-host question mark. I don't think we've ever tried that. There was one um, uh, one picture that I just absolutely loved. It was when uh, you know Darth uh, Darth Vader has got Luke and he's out on the edge of the thing. It's mm -hmm. when they're on the uh, it's when they're in Cloud City and he like falls you know down the giant shaft and he hangs there for a while. Yeah. Um, was you know it's it's a scene where he gets his you know hand cut off or goes, Luke and your father blah blah blah. Um, but there's just like you know there's this like far away photograph of the set for that and you can see them you know both up there fighting and he's like crawling out on the thing and then you can see just below him is just like a shit ton of fucking mattresses oh god i'm sure <laughs> just because the way he's kind of like you know haphazardly he's all dripping with sweat and trying to you know push himself away and like just in case you fucking slip off this thing so there's just i mean there's literally this like like stacked upon each other they were actually like, mattresses yeah like I actual like they mattresses. Those, like um squarish foam they foams. do but like you know, i guess just like you know like back then they're just like ah, fuck it mattresses will be fine <laughs> You know, because he wasn't really going to fall that far. It was uh, only going to be, like, maybe, like, seven feet at best. Oh, that's not best. too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at um, all. So, but they're well, just trying to... didn't fall, so. I'm just, like, wondering, like, cause that's a lot of fucking mattresses. <laughs> yeah, really. So uh, I'm, I'm I'm guessing they must have had some sort of other use for them around the uh, around the set, and that they just didn't, you know, go to, you know, like, the Goodwill and just be like, we'll take them all! <laughs> No, fuck the box springs. We don't want those. We just want the top part. Mm. There's some good news for Chinese video gamers. Mm. They have temporarily lifted the ban on game consoles. Yes. In 2000, they uh, actually banned game consoles from being sold in China because they thought that um, the kids were going to get, you know, culturally... Fucked up like Americans? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes, they did. It says it said it was to protect the mental well-being of children against perceived corruption. Apparently, that wasn't a thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta go up. I gotta go run out. Can I bring you anything? Um, actually, no. I'm all right. Thanks, all right, though. She's all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. 
So uh, it's been 14 years since the ban. Um, Sony and Microsoft and also Nintendo, the consoles, no nothing could be sold at that point, at that time. So this temporary ban lift is kind of nice. I mean, especially because of the fact that the Xbox One and the PS4 is now out. So yay, way to go. So I'm really happy about that. You want Aaron. I don't know who Aaron is. Um, and I don't know if he has this time slot because we have this time slot. I'm not sure when Aaron will be on next. Um, I know three hours ago it was Carter, and I know an hour ago it was Sam Proof. I don't know when Aaron's going to be on. It might be after this hour, so we might want to check back. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, thank you, Is Michael Is there someone Austin. else disappointed? Yes, but this time Damn for a it. different person. Oh. Yeah, Aaron. Hmm. I don't know who that is. Don't know. And I didn't see him, so I'm sorry. Yes, as far as we know, on the Spotlight channel, uh, we're here from 6 to 7 every Sunday. So. Yes, Pacific Standard Time. Yes. Which is right. Mark your calendars so you, you can either watch or avoid it, depending <laughs> on your preference. Depending on how much you hate us. <laughs> Uh, Toshiba, well, we talked about this uh, last week, about the 4K resolution that YouTube is deciding oh. to uh, release. And apparently, um, Toshiba is releasing 4K resolution laptops. Oh, Jesus. Boom! Uh, they're officially calling this resolution ultra high definition. So you've got high definition, and now uh, this is the ultra high definition. Oh, damn. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Why um, are they going to call it next? Super awesome, fantastic, ultimate high definition in 3D. Plus. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> Plus, that like, thing you had to put on the end of every business name in the 80s. <laughs> Lamps. Plus. Stereos. Plus. Batteries. Plus. Uh, Plus. <laughs> um, the laptops are going to have a 2 gigabyte NVIDIA Quattro 2100 M GPU, which is going to be fantastic. There's no pricing yet, unfortunately. Um, and no, Haley, this is not Aaron. I'm sorry. Aaron will be on at some other time. I'm not sure when. Uh, right now is in the back row hour, so you might want to check back later. Stick around if you want. Don't if you don't want. You know, kind of up to you. Uh, Sony also is announcing a 4K handy cam for all of you busybodies out there that want to record stuff in ultra high definition. Oh, crap. Um, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Pretty cool, right? Everyone's coming out with one. Yes, they are. Um, it's their second announced 4K device. Um, this one actually has pricing. 1999.99 US dollars. So, so two grand. So a lot. Two grand, yeah. <laughs> but the first announced 4K device that Sony came out with retailed at $4,499.99. So this is a little bit cheaper um, of the versions. So, you know, you got money in the pocket to burn and you want to make some awesome right on ultra high definition videos go buy that mm. buy it and also <laughs> keeping in with the 4k theme th th this is just kind of you know happening because everybody's all into ultra high definition now uh vizio is now bringing 4k tvs to the masses and they're actually ditching the 3D d displays, so that you're not going to be seeing them anymore. <laughs> not like anyone was watching that shit anyway. Well, there's some people that are pretty disappointed about that. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, 3D games, it didn't I would really, do that. It didn't really, you know, become this, you know, the thing that I, they were all hoping it would. I don't think it's going away. that they were trying to sell people in believing that it would become... I don't think it's going to go away. I think that they're just going to... Three never goes away. It just, no. it, just, it just keeps coming back. It's like the fucking Police oh Academy goodness. movies. What? Aaron Carpenter is not on in this hour. I apologize for the inconvenience. <laughs> we can't bring back somebody who was on three hours ago. Well, no, Aaron Carpenter, that's different. Oh, the other that's one was remember. Carter or oh. something. Thanks, Brooklyn. We like the green monster thing, too. He's all cute and stuff. And he makes and noises. He, yeah. Stuff to annoy your parents with. <laughs> if you have parents. My parents are dead. <laughs> <clears throat> so the uh, 4K TVs are actually going to range in sizes up to 120 inches. So gigantic. Um, and the frame rates adjust to up to 120 frames per second for all of you video gamers out there. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I don't know what the prices of those beasts are going to be quite yet. So 
working on it. Do you mean Carter Reynolds? Um, yeah, no. that's yeah. Carter Reynolds is probably the one that that I mean. Um, that's the guy that was on three hours ago, mm. three and a half now. So, Almost four. so we're apparently you know um, Sam Proof and us. We're apparently you know on right in the middle of a bunch of people that yeah. other people think are really awesome. Yeah. So, Olivia, what are you doing? Um, we're talking about stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know, sitting here. I can't see your hands. Let me see your hands. I'm not showing you my hands. I'm oh. doing something. <laughs> so anyway, if, um, ultra high definition is coming to a store near you. So get ready for it, people. And, um, you if know. If you can afford it. Well, if you're like me and you're cheap, then you'll wait a couple of years for the technology to get a little bit cheaper. That's the way I roll. <laughs> I don't know if you're cheap. I think you're frugal. It's different. Oh, that's a that's a good way of putting it. All right, yeah, I'll take that. What's the hand on the wall? On the wall is that like a sticker? Uh, no. No. It's a, it's like a hand on the wall. Yeah, it's a hand on the wall. Yeah. It's actually a. It's actually a, a, a dimensional <laughs> object that's mm. real and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes places. See, it's an actual. Sometimes it get rent. It, it, it gets rent now. Yeah. 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 Actually, a thing. Totally real. So. Uh, Thanks for becoming a fan, Brooklyn. Uh, Olivia said, can you guys please tell MagCon to come to Columbus, Ohio? Sure. Sure. No problem. <laughs> I'll do that later. It was an easy request. So Justin Bieber. Oh, boy, more douchebags. The guy we cannot stop talking about. And the reason we can't stop talking about him is because he does kind of jerky things. <laughs> kind of. And then they... Uh, they have to be reported on in the news, so we do entertainment news, therefore it's our duty to report it. Plus, it doesn't hurt that every time we post a Justin Bieber video, we get more views than any other video. So, <laughs> so there's also that. Mm. And it's not like, you know, people are just like, you know, curious, like they're, you know, like they're wanting to like, you know, hear about what's happening in his life, because we never really report on any of the good stuff that he does. Does he do anything good? I don't know. I don't um, think he does. But, uh, but... Like I said, we don't really report any good it's stuff. Kind of an ass hat. So you know, I would you know, I initially thought that we'd get a lot of you know downvotes on on our videos, but but we actually don't. People seem to actually like them as well as watch them, so that's always a good thing. That is a good thing. I like hearing um, that. But you know, we've reported before that Justin Bieber has uh, had trouble with his uh, neighbors and with law enforcement. You know, uh, driving his uh, uh, his car around a very fancy white. I want to say it's a Lamborghini. It could, oh, yeah. It could, be so. a, it could be a Maserati. I might be mistaken. I'm yeah. not exactly sure. But anyway. And he's in a very ritzy place. It's a really big fucking expensive car for a 19-year-old kid to have. It's too expensive. <laughs> that guy is, he's, he is a And I'm old enough rat. to where I can call him a kid. It's okay for me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyway, so, you know, he was, you know, he's, you know, he's urinated in mop buckets in restaurants and just been, you know, just been, just been a little terrible, but particularly to his neighbors. He's had a lot of, you know, loud parties and he drives really fast through the neighborhood and he's pissed off a lot of people. He well, now a gigantic I guess fruitcake. he's actually um, lowered himself to egging his neighbor's home. <laughs> so there's, there's actually, um, I guess, oh, um, man. Uh, the, uh, I think it was the daughter of the guy whose house he was egging is a 13-year-old daughter. And you can hear, I'm going to play you like the, the recording that they made while they were calling the police while Justin Bieber was throwing eggs at their house. <laughs> this just sounds fucking crazy. Like, what millionaire who drives wow. a Maserati throws eggs at his neighbor's house? I mean, okay, now that I think about it, I would probably do that. I, mm. I'm, I, maybe I'm being too hard on Justin Bieber the more I think about it. I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I had to go and I was, like, slipping out the back, I'd probably whiz in a mop bucket. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, maybe I'm not giving him enough credit. I still don't like his songs, but that's just my personal opinion. You can't hold that against me. Well, you could, I but could, you shouldn't. I could. I could. But anyway, so I made this, uh, I made this video. I, I, I added some in imagery over their, uh, the video, which the video wasn't very good. It was, like, a cell phone, like, held, you know, upright. Um, that they were taking while they were screaming at Justin Bieber, throwing eggs at their house, and mm. the cursing's bleeped out. Um, but uh, they're saying, I'm pretty sure he's saying "fuck" every time you hear a beep. So, <laughs> so the cat's out of the bag on that one. Okay, let's see if I can actually play this motherfucker. The song, you I see you. I see you. Hey, you. 
asshole. Yeah, come right over here, you Call the cops. Call the cops. Come right over. Oh, no, that's real good, buddy. Yeah, you're a big man, aren't you? Oh, my God. You're a big man. Come back over here, you little So, whoa! whoa. <laughs> okay, now our image is something, something horribly fucked up is happening here. We're losing you. Ah! Okay, that looks fine, but this doesn't. Maybe it's the uh, little box dealy. Woohoo! The, the box dealy. Yeah, it's like we're in a rave or something. Oh, there. Well, it was. clearly this cable's gonna have to be uh, <laughs> dealt with in the future. I in think the that's very a, near future. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a culprit. Uh, yes, Brooklyn. That was, or yes, Brooklyn. That is Justin. That was Justin Bieber egging his neighbor's house in a very ritzy neighborhood. Uh, Olive, Olivia said, "Oh, Justin, I love him. I hope you're, you know, being facetious there." Yeah, but anyway, <clears> so yeah, that's the. Uh, these are the feuding homes. <laughs> this is um, uh, this is the Bieber estate here, <laughs> and um, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. This is the house he was egging here. No, this is the house. Oh my god, I'm so confused. This is the egged house. This is Bieber's house. Now the reason I know that this is Bieber's house is because of the skate ramp in the backyard. And we've seen a picture of his the back of his house <laughs> right. before. So this is the house I believe that was egged. Um, so basically, he's just like running across the street. Dude, really? And egging his neighbor's house. No, apparently, it was uh, it was like twenty eggs. So it's not like you know he just like went down to the Seven Eleven and grabbed a dozen. No, he grabbed like a you know he had like a half rack of eggs. <laughs> you know what's funny <coughs> is I egged a place once. Um, actually, it was a new car dealership, and it was when I was eighteen, and I was kind of you know. I had some pretty poor friends, and we actually went to the regular store at 11.30 at night and bought, like, four dozen eggs, and the lady at the counter, she's like, so you making a really big omelet? <laughs> and we're like, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, you know, because that, that doesn't look suspicious at all, you know, when you go to, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a Safeway at one in the morning, and all you're buying is like huge packages of toilet paper and fucking cartons of eggs. <laughs> Nothing looks peculiar about that at all. Yeah, now that I think about it, I'm like, boy, I was really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and cans of spray paint, like, uh, you guys got any um, uh, lantern fluid? I'm just so uh, curious. Um, here's, a, here's a fucked up thing you can do to your neighbors if you don't like them. I'm ready. Okay. I like and, my neighbors. Um, I'm just saying, here's a thing you could do to your if neighbors you don't if you like, like them. Okay, I'm not okay, saying I'm that you should do this. Okay, I'm um, ready. Because it's, it's, it's dangerous, and I believe it might be a felony. Okay. Um, but you can, um, you can take, um, like, toilet paper okay. and, you know, and spell out a word on somebody's lawn in, oh. in toilet paper. Oh, fun. And then you can take a Zippo lighter fluid and then... Um, and then trace the toilet paper, and then when you light the end of the toilet paper on fire, and not only does it spell out the word in flames, it it but it also there. burns the grass, so it will say that whatever you wrote for like a fucking week. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Uh, but really, really, it's just like, you know, like you don't really have to pay to like repair something like that. Nature will just do it. It'll that. just, yeah, the grass will go brack. I mean, go I'm, brack. I'm a master vandal. I've, uh, but I, I never I'm threw not. eggs at, at a house before. I never I did, did that. I didn't throw them at houses. I threw them at new cars. I never toilet papered a house before, and I never uh, threw eggs at anything. I've we, never done that. And it no. seems like I would have. Yes, Because I did a lot of horrible, horrible things. Like, I pushed a flaming trash dumpster onto a busy street. I mean, oh my I did God. fucking horrible things when I was a kid. Um, and I didn't even go to therapy or anything like that. I, did. So <laughs> I just woke up one morning and I'm like, I'm a dick. I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> you're um, you're one of the rare ones, okay? But, Usually somebody else says, hey, you're a fucking dick. Knock it off. Yeah, I just, just come to realize, oh, yeah, that's not right. No. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe Beebs will, will get to that uh, will get to that place in his life. I don't know. Uh, um, he's way too privileged. But you can hear, you know, the girl in the background, like I said um, in that video, that you know, she's like 13, and she actually sounds fucking scared yeah, and she's concerned. Like, oh my god. Um, so you know, apparently he's terrorizing his neighbors. Um, 
He likes and it. And they're hoping that the uh, the damage to the outside of the house is more than four hundred dollars, which would make um, the uh, vandalism a felony mm -hmm. um, charge. And I guess the it seems like the police are kind of hoping that that's the case, and they're um, they seem to be ushering the homeowners along mm -hmm. because they requested. Um, an assessment of the damages by Monday. Wow. So um, we should know uh, possibly tomorrow. I believe uh, uh, the DA gets the case next week. I hope so we should that be out. able That'll to be uh, should be able to hear um, what uh, lies in store for uh, for the Beebs. That's exciting. Uh, so he might be charged with a felony. There might be. He might actually have to go to jail for a week. I would like to see that. But this is. Like, I am surprised he hasn't gone to jail before. I just can't believe, like, if you're, you know, if you're pissed off at somebody, you know, if if it's your neighbor, I mean, this is like seven thirty at night on a Thursday. You know, I mean, there's there's nothing gangster going on at seven thirty on a Thursday. I'm surprised he didn't nothing. wait till like midnight. I mean, come nothing. On. Oh yeah, he's got a bedtime. And he's, and he's I'm out, sorry. Yeah. He's got an eight p.m. bedtime. <laughs> It's got to be back in his little swaddling Ugh. clouch before <sighs> before eight, so the egging had to occur at seven thirty. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see, Dominic, thanks for becoming a fan. Magcon, do I know what Magcon is? Uh, no, I'm gonna check it out though. Brooklyn said he lost his pants on stage. It's funny how he acts black. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> uh, Olivia S keeps saying big time rush. Uh, Alaya, can you tell the MagCon boys I said hi once I figure them out who they are? Yes. Brianna, you too. Thank you, Will, for promoting to people on Twitter. Right on. Olivia, big time rush. Okay. Uh, Liliana, thanks for becoming a fan. <laughs> Boy, what else did I miss? So. Ice cream sounds amazing. Yes, Brooklyn. Uh, ben, thanks. Um, we think you're cute, too. <laughs> he said we're cute. Uh, Super Blue became a fan, and Eric became a fan, and Olivia Olivia just keeps saying Big Time Rush. I don't understand. Brooklyn, <laughs> She's having one. <laughs> Brooklyn said, okay, I see all these cool things in y'all's room. What are your guys' favorite movie characters? Ooh, that's a good one. Mm. And Maddie became a fan. What are our favorite movie characters? Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be like an awful, awful person, and I'm gonna say one of my favorite movie characters is like fucking Neo from The Matrix. <laughs> well, then I there. like Rainbow Bright. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> now this person who asked this question is like, "Wow, I'm horribly disappointed." We both <laughs> fuck off. Corbin said, "Orange peel." <laughs> okay. And Katie brings the horizon became a fan. Thanks. So here's something interesting. Um, we just <coughs> talked about, uh, you know, Justin Bieber egging people's homes. Um, I've heard And, that. like like I said, nothing gangster happens at 7th, 7.30 p.m. Right. Especially on a Thursday. Um, really, if it was, uh, you know, the guy in the chat said, you know, that he tries, you know, it's funny the way he tries to act black. <laughs> he does actually <laughs> try. He really does. Where he goes wrong is that, you know, he gets upset with his neighbor and he, like, throws eggs at their house at mm -hmm. 7.30 at night. Whereas, you know, if he were actually black, he would just, you know, um, you know, Go over there, at maybe like, at like ten thirty at night, and be like, <laughs> and when you like answer the door, and be like, "Fuck the hell off." That would be that would be the difference. Yeah, I would I rather think. just black people just really just just really come right to the door and be like, "Fuck the hell off." And the, mm. I think really like pansy ass white kids like stand on the sidewalk and throw eggs. Yeah, I think that's the difference. I might be wrong. Um, Might be. But here's the crazy thing, is that um, Justin Bieber, well, not really himself, but his, uh, his publicity um, agency that creates all of his, uh, his merchandise, um, one company that creates, like, giant wall decals of him, I guess the owner of that company, I'm not naming names here, but one of the owners of that company, um, had said, like, over social media... Um, that he thought that Justin Bieber was an idiot. So now they're suing um, on Justin Bieber's behalf this company for like $100,000 um, for basically, you know, d you know, defaming him in, in their, the fact that they're in this business relationship. Now, it's a dumb fucking move to be selling Justin Bieber merchandise and then to like, you know, say that he's an idiot um, in public. But you've also got to consider that, you know, maybe, you know, this guy might not actually have to pay up because when it goes before a judge, you'll be like, okay, well, you called him an idiot and you're saying that that's, you know, uh, you know, deflammatory. Well, really, I mean, considering the fact that you're egging people's houses, I mean, the judge might just be like, you know what? Actually, I'm going to say legally 
you are an idiot. So anyone can say that Justin Bieber's an idiot because a federal judge just like slammed down the gavel like, no, in fact, you are an idiot. Fuck you. He is an idiot. I mean, that's so, proven. <laughs> he is guilty of being an idiot. So yeah, we'll, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see if, uh, they end up having to uh, cough up the money on it. Oh, we'll see about that. Hopefully not, you know, because if you just, like, you know, respond on Twitter like that, you know, like, oh, what do you think about him egging somebody's house? That kid's an idiot. <laughs> it's like, well, you wouldn't be half wrong, would you? Not wrong at all, know. more like it. Oh. Yeah. Wow, sad, Bieber. Sad times for the Biebs. Oh, Mr. Bieber. Oh, Brooklyn, have you ever watched Pee Wee Herman? Yes! I used to watch it all the time, and then he became, you know, a guy who liked to wank in the movie theaters. Um, but he was. No, he was always that. We just caught him doing it. But I like, yes, I like the chair, the blue chair. That always made me happy, and also kind of you know a little bit creepy because you're thinking you're sitting on a face. Mm. So you know, as a as a little kid. Wow, it sounds actually more awesome to me now. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, any news on the Twisted Metal movie Sony was supposed to be making? Are you talking about the Twisted Metal game? If so, um, I think it's going to be released. Well, no, it, it already was released. That's a PlayStation mm. 3 game that was released the last year. We're totally going to go over our time, so we have to uh, we have to keep watch and see if anyone jumps in behind us. <laughs> um, let's see. Brooklyn said, hello, kitty. Yeah. And Team Edward or Team Jacob? How about Team Neither? Um, Edward is too sparkly, and Jacob is just a muscly, hey, I'm awesome, and I don't like that. So, yeah, neither of them. How about you? Like them? I played the fifth. Okay, well, it's my right. Pee Wee Herman is in love with his bike. Yes, that was also cute. <laughs> well, I think I caught up with the chat room there. Sweet. Yeah. It looks like we only got like a uh, a minute left for like our hour, even though like oh, our recording has more time. Ooh, snap. Because, like, you know, people were talking about, like, you know, looking for someone else that might be on after us. So that's why I was saying, you know, you should probably keep an eye on that. Because yeah. I don't want to infringe on somebody else's time. But if nobody else is on after us, then I guess I don't really care. True story, bro. But if someone else gets in the quo, we're going to get the fuck out of here. The, 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 the quo? The Q. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what's a quo? I don't know. I don't know. For some reason. I, I actually kind of liked that word. That was kind of cute. Thanks. I, th I think I think you should use it. I'm I'm time. here for cuteness. Yeah, you are. Did you have another? Uh, um, I have a tiny little. You have a tiny little something. Tiny little something. You have a morsel. Nintendo is guilty of patent infringement. Oh my God. For its 3DS. And Shadow the Buff is going to work for them. Yay! <laughs> Apparently, the stereoscopic 3D display technology is patented by Tomita. Thanks, Aaron. Yay! Tomita. Thanks, Aaron. A uh, jury awarded them 15 million dollars. And they're going to pay out by a percentage of the 3DS sales, which is 1.82% for each unit. And the 3DS is already going down in price, so that's going to suck for both parties involved. Mm. Amen. That was it? That, that's it. That was, that that's, was your, that's, that's that was your little, like, news blurb. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What's the craziest thing you guys have each done? Ooh. Jesus Christ. Let's have the question just throughout there. The craziest thing? Um... Been on this show. Catholic girl. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say person. She said thing. Catholic girl. <clears throat> uh, oh, no. Dared. Ah! What is happening? Ah! Ah! I can't see my face. Oh, it must be this cable here. The people <laughs> love their king. Hey, there we go. They know I say... Oh, now it looks like totally clear I and normal again. Maybe I should have done that in the first place. Um, ah. Uh. <laughs> woot, 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 woot. Ah. Just stop, you bastard. Yeah, Brooklyn, I'll follow you on Twitter. Just, uh, you know, uh, where's the... Oh, your link is probably in your profile. Well. Guess who's an idiot? We're just about ready to get out of here, but before I do, I think there's just one last thing I want to mention. Oh, I'm ready. Before we go. Um, Bobby Christina Brown and uh, Nick Gordon. They're uh, Whitney Houston's children. Brother and sister. Right, right. Yes. They're getting... Together? Yeah. They're marrying They're each other. They're marrying each other. They are marrying each other? Yes. Are you kidding? Well, okay. He, he isn't... <laughs> Nick Gordon is, a, is an adopted brother, but still... That's creepy. <coughs> so Whit Adopted or not, that's creepy. So uh, Whitney Houston's children are getting married 
<laughs> because Whitney Houston's life isn't weird enough. Oh my gosh. Now her children have to be getting married. And apparently she's she's okay with it. She's she's cool with it. She's like, yeah, sure. Marry your fucking brother, whatever. Anyway, that's all the time we have. I'm Dr. Gaffer. This is Yu Ming. You've been in the back row. Join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for all your entertainment and gaming news needs that you need when you need it. If you From need us. it. From us. Yeah, because we, we love you. Big time.